Yo guys, what is up? Spaz here today with another video, and this one's kind of a sequel to the best multiplayer setup, or the best hunter setup for multiplayer. And today we're doing some PvE. Uh, so the clash we're going to want to use is not Blade Dancer this time, but Gunslinger. Um, I really don't PvE much because I have no friends. <laughs> but um, yeah, if I did, and I didn't, if I didn't hate change so much, I would use this. I really don't care enough to switch classes, but I know for a lot of other people it's important. So this is the class you want to use, and I'm going to tell you why. Alright, so in PvE, it's basically all about how can I do the most damage to an enemy without exposing myself, right? Uh, this class is going to let you do more damage from a range than the Blade Dancer class. The Blade Dancer is more of an up close and personal, and yeah, that, that, that's the, I'll tell you why. Um, so the grenade, I personally like the Storm Grenade, because I think you can just throw it and it'll attack enemies, and you don't have to be too accurate with it. With the Hunter or with the Blade Dancer class, you have to be a lot more accurate with the grenades, especially the sticky ones. This one's definitely better, and it will burn them, so you can do additional damage. Uh, so it'll allow you to hide while they burn to death. Uh, the explosive grenade, you can use that if you're going to get rushed. Um, I don't have this class fully upgraded, because I don't use it that much. Um, but yeah, you can use that. I, I mean, I've, played, I've seen these used, I know how they work. Uh, it's really more of a multiplayer grenade, but if you want, you could throw it on the ground and wait for an enemy to come at you. Uh, for this one, it's just a standard double jump. Uh, nothing too special. You can really choose whatever you want. I always like better directional control, um, so I choose that, but honestly, it's just take whatever you want. Uh, the third jump doesn't even give you extra height, really. It just you can jump three times, which is cool. Uh, the super for this definitely makes this way better for PvE, because the golden gun's pretty powerful, and you can shoot from a range. Um, the arc blade and the blade dancer class should get up close and personal, and in a strike or like a high level mission, it's basically a suicide super, so kind of useless. Um, yeah, so you choose that, and I honestly wouldn't choose anything other than the accuracy because, I mean, you're in PVE, it's not too hard to get your shots off. And you only get three volts anyways, so the duration doesn't even matter. Uh, the more accurate are you are, the better. So definitely choose that instead of these two. All right. Throwing knife is great because it allows you to essentially melee them from a distance, which the Blade Dancer class doesn't really do. Um, throwing knives can do a lot of damage. So definitely a great one to use because you can kind of just sit back and you could throw knife a huge boss. Um, if I had to pick any of these... Um, it's kind of hard to be do precision kills with throwing knife because it has to be so accurate. So I would probably choose the enemies on fire. But if you think you're accurate enough, you can totally choose um, a throwing knife. I mean, if you think you're going to one-hit an enemy with it, go for it. But I honestly would just use the throwing knife catches enemy on fire because it'll do additional damage. And it already does a decent amount of damage. Alright, for this one, it's pretty much personal choice. Um, again, I, I think... Battle recovery is pretty useless, is the least useful of anything. So I just use toughness and speed, and I try and always use toughness. Alright, so for this one, I would definitely use the penetration. Just because if you have enemies lined up, you can kill them one or more at a time, which is really important. Uh, the grenade and throwing knife are going to come back on their own eventually. They're not super important things for PvE because you don't have them that much. So I think this is definitely more important, uh, because you might end up getting two or three kills with one bullet, which is awesome. Right, moving on, again, personal choice. Um, I would actually use Toughness. I just had this on because I never switched it. Uh, I would go with Toughness, just again, because I think Toughness, staying alive longer is better, and recovery is not that big a deal, because you can just go hide behind a rock. So, for the last one, you want to do is definitely use the increase the range of golden gun again the longer you can stay alive in pve the better so if you could sit even farther back with this thing and do a lot of damage that's really useful so definitely use that for the last column all right guys that's pretty much going to be the best setup for this um and again i actually forgot to mention these ones down here um so what you could do, I guess, instead of the accuracy, is the cooldown reduction, uh, if you want to use it more often, which is always useful. So again, a personal choice, but there are definitely better options than others. So, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, leave a comment, uh, drop a like, subscribe for more. And just real quick before I go, just another tip to um, actually increase your uh, super ability is if you upgrade intellect a lot. Or yeah, I have zero right now because I don't care about my super at all. But if you get a lot of intellect, um, your super will come back faster. So do that. And I know this is a hunter video, but if you're a titan, there's actually it's either a perk or a piece of armor or weapon that will give you an extra golden gun bullet. So that's something to think about. Anyways, guys, it's been your boy Spaz.